Hello, Digital Ready designers. My name is Greg. I'm going to be a, uh, your Fab Lab specialist for this summer program. I'm very excited to be here, excited to be working with you. I wanted to start off with a quick video introducing the 3D printer, big, big picture, broad overview, how it works. Uh, and then I'm going to break down a series of smaller videos to show you how to assemble this from the kit that you've received, uh, put all the pieces together, get it all set up, test it, and to go from uh, a 3D model on a computer to an actual 3D object, something like this. All right, let's get started. So, this whole contraption here is a 3D printer. You've probably heard of them before. Uh, what we have, basically, is a spool of filament up here, okay? And this is basically a roll of plastic, okay? It's like this plastic wire, okay? And this filament comes in these spools, right? You can roll it or unroll it, although you don't want to unroll it. And it feeds down, and this little motor here with this little gear on it pushes the filament through this tube, all right? The filament is pushed down through this plastic tube, okay? It goes into this housing here. This whole uh, housing here is called the extruder. And the reason it's called the extruder is that it has this hot end, which you can see right there, and the hot end melts the plastic, right? It's a very hot metal nozzle and it melts the plastic and you extrude, you squeeze the plastic out through that little metal nozzle. And the plastic gets deposited in layers and you can see this print right here is made up of layers. And each layer gets deposited and building up layer by layer by layer by layer is how you go from a 3D model to a 2D, from a, from a 3D model on the computer to an actual 3D model uh, that you can pick up and look at and use in, in all of your projects. So uh, this model is called Benchy. Uh, it's called Benchy because it's basically a benchmark test. If you're familiar with the concept of benchmark testing, um, uh, a benchmark test basically is just to see, okay, is my, is my printer working? Uh, how's it doing? And uh, what kind of detail can it get? And this is one I printed before, and it's, it's, it's pretty good. You can see it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty detailed. It's got these little overhangs, which are uh, a good indication that your printer is working well. Um, we can talk more about that later. Um, the way the printer, the way the printer works is it's got it's got these these stepper motors. Okay, so these motors, these sort of uh, gray and black cubes, uh, can move very precisely, and the computer tells it how to move. So it's you've got this uh, you've got this computer here that's telling these motors how to move back and forth and you can see like this motor is hooked up to this belt and you can see it move back and forth and it moves the extruder back and forth all right and then uh, this motor that i showed you before is the extruder motor and you can see it, uh, the gear head there pushes it pushes filament through or retracts it pulls it back into the machine uh, and then the last stepper motor is this one here. This is for the Z direction. And the Z direction, the Z axis, is run on this big rod, uh, this, this big spindle rod that goes up and down. And that is how the extruder goes up and down. And then, oh, the actual last one uh, I'll point out is this one on the back here. And this one on the back uh, moves, moves the build plate. This, platform here is called the build plate, build plate and it moves the build plate uh, front to front to back and so between front to back side to side and up and down you can build up the 3d object so there's your there's your four minute your four minute uh, your five minute introduction to 3d printers and how they work uh, we're gonna jump in next to assembling them and uh, and uh, we'll be off to the races <laughs> 